We have uh, several programs within Heartland Horse Heroes. We've got therapeutic riding with school programs. We've got Buckingham County Schools and Cumberland County Schools both come out. And as part of their school day, they come into our classroom for part time and come out to the arena for part time. And not only do they learn about horses, they work on some things that are in their individual educational plans at school with the horse as a motivator to learn those skills as well as um, physical skills that they may learn in the in the riding arena. So my favorite moments are when students come here, when they first get here, when they first get off the bus, and then within a few minutes of meeting the horses, they're excited and riding, and then the next time that they come, they're like they're really looking forward to seeing their horse, right? Like it becomes their thing. And so it doesn't take very long for them to get over that initial fear and hesitation. This is Nate and he is eight years old and he has um, a rare disorder called SPXVP1 encephalopathy. He, in the very beginning, had very low muscle tone in his core and they had to give him full support on the horse. And since um, coming here, he's able to get just his thigh hold. It's improved his balance quite a bit, and he's not had to spend as much time in the wheelchair. It's amazing. He's come a long way. He's come a long way. I, there were a time when we didn't think we would ever see him up walking, and he's up walking now. It used to be they made a single sound and turn, and out he'd go, out of the barn or wherever we were. Um, he's so he's become very comfortable with it um, in terms of abilities that I don't believe would have happened. Uh, balance, the balance to be able to sit by himself, to sit at the table, to sit at on the toilet, to, you know, just things we take for granted. And uh, that balance has made a big difference. It's very fulfilling, especially seeing how the children, when they first start to the end, when they come back the following year, how excited they are. It's been therapeutic on its own for me being able to be around children or students of all ages seeing them grow and, and change themselves it helps you realize how much you're you're actually making a difference in their lives we've had some children that would not even get on a horse we have to get them to lead them around a little bit now you can't get that child off the horse and the instructors do a lot of work with them for their balance and everything else and uh, talking and getting them to express themselves and stuff like that. Every Thursday I have the privilege of bringing a group of graduate clinicians out here to Heartland Horse Heroes to work with a group of middle schoolers with special needs right alongside the therapeutic riding instructors. I've noticed that there's a large increase in child interaction between the class members and that's really really awesome to see because every child needs to be included no matter what functioning level they're at and it's just great to see them all work together and have a good time when they're out here. The focus of this partnership between therapeutic writing and speech language pathology is really to increase the functional communication needs language needs and social skills of the students that we're working with. I've definitely seen a lot of improvements, especially over the years, whether it's through their physical or emotional or mental, and um, they sharpen skills and being able to you know, build muscle, I see a huge difference in that, that's for sure. Um, you know, sitting up taller, able to walk better, communicate better, um, happier all around. If we had an indoor arena, we would be able to run more programs and year round. About $150,000 is a base price to cover the arena and put a couple of sides on it. We would like to have one open air side, at least, um, for some fresh air and some nature. We do appreciate our community coming together to support us for this project and we have already seen a lot of um, excitement about this in our community. We hope that continues to build and continues to grow. Thank you for considering us for your support in this program.